Taziba Ndidi, Director for Divine Wounds for Life. Today's topic is going to be on tapping into your soul. And as always, we honor Grandmother Moon. There's a new moon coming next week on the 23rd. So get your new moon rituals together and start honoring the new project that you're going to start. The new things under the new moon. So, tapping into the soul. We hear it all the time. You know, people say when you want to find, you know, peace, you have to go inward. And it's absolutely correct. We have to go inward to tap into our soul. But most of us don't really know how to tap into our soul. And, you know, the human body is phenomenal mind, body, spirit, we have an aura, we have an um, etheric field around us, and we also have an astral field around us. The human body is a replica of the universe. You know, we've heard it, as above, so below. That is true. So once you study the human body and understand all of the aspects and the energy fields around the human body and the internal body, which is your organs, then you understand and know the universe because we are replicas of the universe. So I want to just share with you, you know, a simple way to tap into your soul. So the, the way to tap into your soul is to focus on yourself. Honor yourself. You know, we, we were taught to go outside and honor things that's outside of us, but we're tapping into our soul here, so we have to honor ourselves. We have to honor our souls. And so I want to show you how to tap into the universe, which is our soul. Our soul is connected to the universe. So when we focus on self, we're focusing on the universe. So I'm going to just show you a simple technique to tap into your soul, which is tapping into the universe, so that you can have peace, you know, harmony, and, and live in tune with nature. It's very simple. Um, you know, I've always shared with my clients and my, my family to connect with the universe you know, before you leave the house every day. You know, connect with that infinite source, that power, that that energy, that great miraculous energy that created the sun, that created the moon, that created all the elements in the universe. That same miraculous power created us, created me and you. We have that same life force that's flowing through us from the source, from the infinite source. So I'll share with you, it's just a simple little technique so that you can tap into your higher self. You know, as we come into this new age, this new paradigm, it's really all about us. It's really about self. It's about focusing on yourself, understanding your power, because we are very powerful, we just don't know it. <laughs> but you know that you have power. You know you are a miracle. Out of eight million sperms, only one got through, and that's you, that's the miracle. You're the miracle. So that miracle lies within our every being. That power that we have, that infinite source that's of the universe. There is a higher force other than this mundane, earthly stuff. So I'll share with you. It's just a simple technique. We put our hand in prayer pose. And you can do this every morning before you leave or anytime during the day, 12 noon, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock, before you go to bed. You know, I like to do it all day <laughs> whenever I find that moment to be with myself and the universe. 
So it's a simple technique. We take our hands in prayer pose. We take our thumbs and place it on our third eye. And we honor our third eye so that we may think kind thoughts. We take our thumb to our lips. We honor our lips so that we may speak kind words. We take our thumbs to our heart so that we may be kind to all and everyone around us. So to tap into yourself and the universe, you can place your hand over your womb or your abdomen or your, your third chakra, which is your solar plex. And you focus on, you can close your eyes and focus on your womb or your hara for men. But focus on your womb, honoring her, thanking her for guiding you and giving you the power that you need. And asking your womb to tap into the universe, the universal goddess that's the center of this galaxy where all things come from that void, that darkness. So you tap into that and you meditate upon that for as long as you need to. And then when you're done, you give thanks to your pioneer gland for the kindness. You give thanks to your lips for the kindness. And you give thanks to your heart thanks to the universe for giving you the power to live, which is the breath of life. With each breath that we take, we're connected to the universe. Because once we stop breathing, then our spirit moves on. It leaves this shell, this vehicle. It's only a vehicle to carry our spirit. But our breath keep us connected to the infinite source, to the universe. So tapping into your soul is tapping into the universe. So I hope that you can use this little meditation to help keep you grounded, to help keep you in tune with nature, and to honor yourself. It's really all about honoring yourself. Because when you honor yourself, you're honoring the universe. So start your day off by tapping into your soul and into the universe. And you will see how synchronicity will be with you. You will flow with the universe and you will flow in tune with the things that you need to be in tune with. So tapping into your soul will raise your frequency, your vibration. You know, all the cells in your body, they will rise to a higher frequency so that you can attract the things that your heart desires. So start your day off with tapping into your soul. Like my video if you like, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and also visit my website divinewombsforlife.com and sign up for my free ebook, Womb Sense, Phallus in the Sacred Womb. I thank you and I'll see you in two weeks.